we want him to learn his lesson, okay? <laughs> but I mean, he's freshly turned thirteen. You know, he's scared. I think the best place would be home with him. That was the plea from the family of a 13 year old boy now charged with two counts of homicide and armed robbery after the murder of two 15 year olds. These charges come hours after an arrest warrant was issued for another teenager police say is connected to those murders. Our Jenna Ray has been in court this afternoon following the case and Jenna joins us live now from the Milwaukee County Youth and Family Justice Center with more Jenna. Susan, right now, that 13 year old boy will remain in custody. That's despite his attorneys asking for a supervised release. And we're not naming him right now because he's still being charged as a juvenile. However, investigators did charge another teen. He's being charged as an adult, but he hasn't been in court yet because police are still looking for him. He's freshly turned 13. I think he made a dumb mistake and two kids are dead for it. He Which will never we regret for the rest of our lives. That's the voice of two family members of the 13 year old boy now charged with two counts of murder and armed robbery. On Saturday, May 18th, these two teens, Alejandro Sanchez and Monroe Wieso, were shot and killed on Milwaukee South Side. The 13 year old in court Friday and 15 year old Christopher Scott are now charged with their deaths. A third teen is in custody. Um, ultimately, Two kids are dead um, due to involvement in planning an armed robbery um, in which uh, they were shot. I would also note for the court that he was physically involved as detailed in the petition. Reasons I do believe that he poses an imminent danger if he were to be released. Prosecuting attorneys claim the 13 year old Christopher Scott and the third team planned to buy marijuana and rob the dealers. According to a criminal complaint during the deal, Christopher Scott pulled a gun and shot both victims. Defense attorney Catherine Holloway says. I don't believe that our client is alleged to have actually been the person to conceive of this or to have been the person who brought, who's alleged to have been a person who brought a gun, alleged to have been the person who showed the gun or alleged to have been the person who fired a gun. Holloway asked for the 13 year old to be released under his family's supervision with his family asking for leniency. We want him to learn his lesson, okay? But I mean, he's freshly turned 13. You know, he's scared. I think the best place would be home with him. The judge disagrees. I, I think at this time, I can only conclude that you are a danger to yourself and others and you must remain in secure detention. It's important to note that if a child is over the age of 10 and charged with murder, state law does say that they can be tried as an adult. Specifically in this case, the 13 year old charged is still being tried as a juvenile at this point in time. For now, we're live in Wauwatosa. I'm Jenna Ray for TMJ4 News. Jenna, thank you.